Through the continuing resounding success of the Infinite Impact Campaign, Mississippi State University is reaping the benefits from those who share the vision of learning, research, and service. The results of the Infinite Impact Campaign is resonating in the lives of students, faculty, and staff, which will continue for generations to come. In the heart of campus, two primary areas in the old main academic center are among those possible with gifts. The auditorium bears the name of alumnus and long-standing supporter Turner A. Wingo. Down the way, a first floor classroom honors MSU Emerita faculty Catherine R. Boyd and the late Leroy H. Boyd. They are saluted by their daughter, Suzanne Purvis, and her husband, alumnus David Purvis. In Central Campus, two premier spaces in the Mitchell Memorial Library's second floor are aimed towards student success. The James W. Nicholson Reading Room honors the late educator and alumnus through an endowment by his sister, fellow College of Education alumna Janice Nicholson. Additionally, the Max South Digital Media Center makes possible a state-of-the-art center with an accompanying endowment for its perpetual support. DMC features include the Television Studio for the College of Arts and Sciences Communication Department and the Center for Advanced Vehicular Systems Mixed Reality Studio. The campaign also impacts facilities in MSU's academic colleges. In the College of Architecture, Art and Design, the Charlotte and Richard McNeil Architecture Gallery in Giles Hall bears the names of the alumni couple who created an endowment for its perpetual use in showcasing design. In the College of Arts and Sciences, the Dr. A. Randall and Marilyn W. White Health Professions Resource Center in Harned Hall is known for the alumnus and his wife who are its namesakes. The center offers experienced guidance for undergraduate and graduate students and alumni seeking entry into a health professional school. In the College of Veterinary Medicine, the newly renovated Nutramax Laboratories Pharmacy is possible with an endowment from the Nutramax family of companies and its president and CEO, Dr. Todd Henderson, a veterinary alumnus. Improvements also impact the James Worth Bagley College of Engineering. Endowment level support from the Taylor Group of Companies makes possible the Taylor Solid Mechanics Laboratory in Carpenter Hall that supports the required solid mechanics courses for senior students. Carpenter Hall also has state-of-the-art laboratories funded by Chevron and Dow Companies. The Chevron Thermal Fluids Laboratory and the Dow Experimental, Measurement and Techniques Laboratory are teaching labs for the Mechanical Engineering Department. Carpenter Hall also houses the Edward Eddie Johnston Student Leadership Suite that provides a meeting and presentation area for mechanical engineering student leaders and groups. A gift by Gas Technology Institute memorializes former MSU engineering student Eddie Johnston, the company's senior vice president of research and technology development in this way. Facilities also enhance the MSU athletic experience. The ladies' softball team hits game winners in News Park through the generosity of alumni couple Tommy and Terry News. While MSU faithful enjoy the Richard Adkerson Plaza named by the accounting alumnus at Duty Noble Field on game days. And the Lance Famous Maroon Band practice field allows the 117-year-old band to rehearse the fight song year-round on a synthetic field named for its longtime director because of an endowment effort led by alumnus Jim Rouse and his wife, Julia Rouse. As the Infinite Impact campaign continues, gifts for facilities will help accommodate and educate MSU's expanding enrollment well into the future.